like this class is for anybody who has a call on your heart for a higher calling. You know that there is, there's just something inside of you that is yours, yours to express, yours that's absolutely unique, yours that feels really, really great. You know that it's yours, it's unique to you. You want to, you have something to say. Maybe you have thought about writing a book and yet it's daunting. You don't even know where to start. Or maybe you want to produce music or do something, but there's a lot of excuses in your head that there isn't enough. Or, or maybe you want to be a coach or a healer or a massage therapist or a yoga instructor or you know, whatever it is. Tell me what it is. So if you are joining me, if you're here live, go ahead and tell me in the comments, let me know that you are here because that also feeds my soul. When we interact, we form relationship and we just did the talk on relationship yesterday or two days ago and how, um, how important that is, how wonderful that is um, to have this relationship. So in order to have a relationship and go back and forth, I would love you to tell me that you are here to, um, tell me where you're from and then tell me what your heart calling is. Like, do you have a mission that you want to, to go for? Do you have a mission that feels really like it's yours to create? And maybe it's so huge that you don't even know like how it could possibly happen. And if that's the case, then I'm going to talk directly to you today. And I'm really excited to do so. So part seven, um, I've had a lot of energy moving through me today and I came on here um, because one, in business, one of the most important parts of business is to do what you say, right? And so yesterday I said I was going to come on and I was going to do this masterclass and today I am here to do it. And, but I had to wait, I had to wait for this energy within me, my own truth to settle and simmer down a little bit in order to show up fully for you. And so that's my first thing about business that I've learned in business. And I began in business when I was 10 years old, I had a little company and I would shovel manure for all the people that had horses in the horse stable. And I made quite a bit of money. My mother used to tell me that I could make more money than she could. And I think I think I did most years um, when I was younger. And so you know, money is part of success. Money is part of you know living and surviving and thriving. Money is part of the equation. But oftentimes our heart calling is so outside of how to make money or how the money is going to show up. Your higher calling is something that lives deep within you. It feels like a daydream. And usually it takes skills that are so effortless and so natural and so easy that you don't even feel like it's work. You don't even feel like, you feel like you're kind of cheating. I've talked to many clients that are in my empire builder and Jennifer was just talking about um, being in that program just a second ago. And, um, you know, it's when you're stepping into your higher calling, when you're grounding into, to really taking that leap and jumping into it, it, it is so full of resistance. And I did a whole 30 day challenge at your own university, which is my free offering to you. If you go over and just register for our newsletter. You can take this 30 day challenge all about turning your life on and how, when we step into our higher purpose, there's this resistance that happens and there's fear that comes up that happens. And there's like a fuck it all run away thing that happens, or there's a fight it out thing that happens. Um, or there's a freeze that happens. So your body literally goes into your physical body. If you don't 
aren't prepared for it. When you say yes, when most people say yes to their higher calling, a couple things happen. The first is fight, flight, or freeze because your higher calling is going to be absolutely unique to you. You're not going to follow anybody else's plan or path. Even the great teachers, I've studied with amazing business coaches, amazing business coaches, and um, I mean, famous, very famous business coaches is my personal coaches. Um, and well, Faith, is my personal coach right now. She just jumped on. Hi, Faith. Um, but I've worked with John Asraf. I've worked with Lisa Sasevich. I've worked with um, Lisa Nichols. I've worked with Max Simon. I've worked with Chris Ward. I've worked with Gina DeBee. I've worked with Tara Marino. I've worked with, oh my gosh, I'm just name dropping here, I know. But um, if you know any of these names, then when it comes to business, how to write a book, um, with, um, what was her name anyway, but how to write a book with Lisa Nichols, how to get on stage and speak, how to, um, overcome this, overcome that, how to look at sales, how to, um, shift my mindset around money, how to function in all these ways. So I have hired, I mean, literally I've spent over a hundred thousand dollars just on business coaches and business awareness. Plus I ran, um, and helped my, I didn't, shouldn't say run because I didn't. Um, my ex-husband has a very successful marketing company. And so I was behind the scenes and watching what he was doing and looking at that. And we worked in radio and print and I've done a lot of vocal work for radio and print. I've had a podcast for 10 years. Um, I had, I was on many, many TV shows since I was very young. Um, I, like I said, started my first business when I was 10. Then I, in high school, I did um, nannying and house sitting and stuff like that, running my business. Then I was a hairdresser and I rented the chair and I built my own business doing hairdressing. Then I was teaching fitness and I had to do my own business there. And then um, having my own yoga studio and running my own yoga studio and developing my own yoga teacher trainings and then running my own um, coaching business and writing five books and um, being published, being um, recognized as one of America's premier experts in self-care, opening up your own university and joining a collaboration business. Plus I have a nonprofit, the Divinely You Foundation and we help people overcome the um, pains and struggles that abuse, sexual abuse specifically, look at. Um, your own books. Yes, my own books. So um, a couple of my own books you can find. Why don't I have them? I have them right here. So there's others that are downstairs that I did collaboration books, but this is a book that I have all in. That is um, the Yoga Sutras in the Bible. It took me 10 years to write and collaborate with that book, um, but it's part of my yoga teacher training. A part of my transformational training here is From Bondage to Happiness. It is a how-to book to overcome childhood trauma, lean into spiritual giftings and step into um, your higher purpose. So this is a workbook, um, but very much so a book. And then I have another book online that actually really infused the 10 minute love letters that we have at your own university um, that everybody gets, our members get each day, you get one love letter that takes about 10 minutes and it builds through your six personal power zones. So this is the last, the purpose zone is your last personal power zone. And um, that book is called Ageless Beauty, Timeless Truths, and you can find it on Amazon. So all of these you can find on Amazon. And, um, and then I have a couple other collaboration books that I've wrote with other people, including um, Holistic Fashionista and um, Failure, The Key to Success and God's Miracles. So all those you can check me out and look, look.
that up. Yeah, 10 years it took me to study the Yoga Sutras and the Bible and compare them together. Thank you. And I got my master's degree in transpersonal psychology. Thanks, Faith. So I'm coming to you from a place of I have done so much in business. I have ran my own yoga studio on, on the road, like, you know, an actual building. And then I've also run an online business for a long time, um, since 2010. So almost 10 years on, in the online field. And, you know, I would say myself, just to be completely transparent, that I am on the brink of precedence in making the financial money that I consider, you know, to be that million dollar mark, to be that yes mark, to be successful um, as far as finances go. But when it comes to how to run a business, keep a business going, keep your passion going, follow your higher calling and step into that, I know how to flip and do it. I know how to get your word out and I know how to, um, to help you put together award-winning programs, right? That change lives um, and books that change lives and talks that change lives. I've spoken on stages all over the world. Very, very, very blessed in this sense to be extremely successful in, in my field. And so I'm coming to you from this place of divine purpose to tell you it's not easy. It is not easy. Um, when we're looking for outside validation to our inner calling, we get hit with um, nothing but the opposite, I think, <laughs> for the most part. And it is, it is incredible how when you step into your highest purpose, you have to do things your way. And this is something that is huge. And I just got it on a deeper level for you guys that are looking at becoming a holistic health coach. Because when you step into a field, you have the field, right? You have your niche, you have your field. So I'm going to talk about this as I'm talking to people that want to transform the world with me, who want to know how to help coach people through each of their personal power zones. Because the first thing that you have to do, no matter what field you're going into, is embody self. So knowing how to keep yourself healthy, how to support your physical body is imperative for you to be able to have the energy and the awareness to go out into the world and do your thing. If you're sick, you're in bed, right? If you're sick, you're focusing on being sick and you're trying to heal. You can't do both. So it's very, very important to have an awareness on how to take care of your physical body. The next is mentality. Mindset is huge in business. I mean, just talk to any of the greats. Um, John Asraf, who I you know, paid $15,000 to study with, he literally um, just, it was all mindset. It was all mindset. He, he reprograms your subconscious mind and then he teaches you the strategic things and what to do to work your budget and balance your money and, and invest the right way. Huge, huge, right? So, um, so mindset is massive when it comes to knowing how to run your own mindset in order to set up your own business. So you're going to cover all of this in this holistic coaching certification program. The next piece of this is is your emotions. I don't know. <laughs> if, if you have a higher calling and you're going to step into your own business, I don't know anything more than to tell you, like, like I hope you enjoy roller coasters. <laughs> it's especially the first couple years. Um, and I hope, and I don't even know, I, you know, I don't even know, like when I cross over the next threshold of, of success, like what it will be like, I'll have to tell you then. But I know from talking to coaches and being mentored by people that have been extraordinarily successful, both in publicity as well as financially, that they, um, it's just as, it's just as challenging. We bump up against um, what everybody says to do. And, and that's this first key, how to do it ourselves. So, um, it's the most challenging emotional experience that you're going to go. So understanding how to process emotions, how to feel emotions, how to not get trapped in emotions, how to not 
go down the waterfall of emotions is imperative when you are stepping into your higher calling. Imperative when you're here to change the way that the world does something and do it your own way. You are going to face resistance, resistance from your family and friends. Oh, you're crazy. You can't do that. Blah, blah, blah. Um, resistance from yourself and your own mindset, your own belief systems. You're going to come up against fears and have multiple opportunities to jump off that cliff. And that cliff might be registering for this next coaching certification, the the coaching certification here. It might be registering for it right now. It's taking that first step. It's making that first investment, whether it's time or money or awareness, hiring the mentor, the coach, um, looking at who you want to work with, how you want to set up your business, and, and really stepping into your higher purpose. Now, not all the time does your higher purpose have anything to do with your work. You might have a day job that you love, that you're skilled at, that um, takes care of all of your your stuff, but your higher calling, your soul calling, your I'm supposed to do this to transform the world is going to press you up against resistance. And that is a very good thing. When you feel that resistance, just like I talk about in our free training at your own university, our 30 day challenge, um, the turn your life on challenge, meaning like flip your light on, um, you are truly, truly, truly blessed because you jump into this awareness that that resistance is normal. That resistance means you're on the right track. That resistance means that you have a belief system and awareness and old news crap that's yours personally that you get to now take ownership up of work through, face, and transform, transmute, and transcend along your soul's journey to step into the fullness and the reality of who you are. And that might look different, different ways. It truly might look different ways. And it does look different ways for everybody. So the first thing that you're going to go into is is resistance when you say yes to your higher calling. The second thing that you go into when you say yes to your higher calling is a awareness that your whole life makes absolute sense. And I don't think that there's a formula. I'm gonna go against like what everybody says here. But um, I have never met anyone, the most successful people to the people just starting out, the people that have coached through the empire builder that is the um, fourth quarter of the holistic coaching certification program. Um, it's also a program in its own called the Empire Builder. And I'm going to go through my Empire Builder book, which is another book that's a step-by-step -step guide to how to set up your coaching business and really get started um, on the back end part of it. And that is going to be in the next piece of this training for those of you who are interested in becoming a holistic health coach or learning the holistic health coach methodology that you can in, infuse into your own personal coaching practice or teaching practice or awareness. And oh, a couple of people, right, since I'm on the topic, a couple of people have written me and you've asked, oh, can I just do this piece? Can I just know more about myself? Can you just help me find this clarity here? And yes, I do do that. I do have a few openings for private clients right now. Um, but you got to get them and you got to get them fast. And it is my amazing you program. It's my amazing you program. So you can jump and just ask me about that. Back to topic though. I'm going to hit that resistance and then you're going to be kind of like, how do I do it? How do I do it? And you start seeking out answers. How do I do it? How do I do it? And the thing is, is everyone can tell you how they did it, but how they did it is not how you will be successful doing it. This has probably cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars, this lesson right here, hundreds of thousands of dollars, all right? And um, so how they did it is not how you're going to do it. So it's very important to find a coach, a teacher, a mentor that is going to help you look at your life experiences and your natural giftings and how it all work together in your life blueprint, in your etheric field to, to help you 
infuse your soul calling into your life rather than trying to pull it out or teach you how to do it their way. Because you'll take their ideas and their mentorship and try them on. But if they're like my way or the highway, my encouragement to you is to get a new coach. And as a coach, as a business teacher, as a leader in, um, in leadership, I did classes for BP and stuff, really teaching managers how to lead and, and work with those managers to relate to their people on the emotional intelligence zone. Remember I talked about that. So allow yourself to like get to know yourself enough to listen to your mentors and also mentor others. If this is where your coaching is at, if you're a business coach, mentor others to find their own way. And this is one reason why I love coaching over therapy because therapy, we are kind of helping solve problems and stuff, but most of the time we are looking at the past to find the future. Um, where in coaching, we really looked at the intuition that that dynamic questioning, the, the awareness, the forward thinking in order for our people to to find their own answers and then implement their own answers because your marketing strategy, your journey, your personal growth that is going to be required when you are stepping into your higher calling is going to be completely different than mine or somebody else's. So to be coached by somebody that knows it all, it's really not a good idea. Even if they might be able to see around your corners even if they might be able to see around your corners. Because the other great thing about having a mentor and a coach or being a mentor and a coach and what you're doing for your clients as a mentor and a coach is that oftentimes we get so close to our genius. It is so natural that it feels like we're almost cheating life because we've been trained in this world. We've been brainwashed to think that we have to work really hard, that it needs to be challenging, that it's going to take forever. And we're going to get whatever we believe. And from where I teach, um, I have gone through and battled my own belief systems. I've battled my own stuff. So um, I have fallen on my face in every single one of the power zones. Um, this last December, this particular power zone um, nearly killed me. And so I literally have been like, and when I say literally, I mean literally have been on death's bed, like nearly killed, taken down by each personal power zone. So I can understand and, and relate to, to the pain and the agony and the growth and the joy and the bliss and the enlightenment and the, the ahas and the wohos and the praise gods and the, and the crash downs and, and everywhere in between that, that we experience when we say yes to our truth and we say yes to our, our higher calling is different than getting a job. It's very, very different when you step into this. It is, it is a commitment to yourself. It's a commitment to your personal growth. It's a commitment to look at your shadows as well as your light and to step into that light fully and more full and more full and more fully each and every day. So um, anyway, he doesn't know I'm online. Um, so, your heart opens, you say yes, you hit that resistance, you start seeking advice. And then my first point in this, my first big lesson is do it your way. You can go and learn for somebody. So there's different teachers that I've absolutely loved studying with. Um, I was moved most recently in the last couple of years by Molly Sapp and um, her mindset and how she goes about mindset and how she just talks to people and has like the greatest friends. And I just thought she's just super cool. So I went and I stayed with her a bit. Um, and, you know, like, like having those mentors and having those people to kind of think, but do it your way. That's the most important piece. Um, I started my studies and all of this with studying people like Carolyn Mace and Wayne Dyer and Neil Donald Walsh and um, and really working in that field in order to allow 
myself to open up. So I still follow those teachers. I still follow those teachers. But instead of doing how they did it, I have now learned the hard way to do it myself. And the greatest thing about that that I just got, because I've gone to so many trainings and so many workshops and so many seminars all over the world, I've been truly blessed to sit in some very posh, beautiful places with crowds of people around me, all being inspired by speakers on stage. And I've been blessed by being some those that speaker at times as well. And um, what I just found out about myself as I was out paddling the other day, thinking about the next 20 coaches that get to go through your own university and where, where I wanted to bring them in the world and what I wanted to do. And I was in my own backyard and I'm like, you know what, we're going to do soul journeys. And I talked to my best friend and I was like, I was like, hey, can we come to your flower garden? Because these flowers have been so healing and she does flower healings and, and flower awareness. And she has a, her own book and her own expertise around it. And, and um, she, I was like, can we come here? Can I bring them here? Can we experience this? Can we go camping out there and do a soul journey there? Can we do this? And finally, for the first time ever in the two years that I've been coaching coaches to be coaches, <laughs> I... I just had this opening of feeling, this is how I can bring everybody together. Bringing you to Denali, bringing you to Alaska for Alaska Adventure, coming on a soul journey, because that's me, that's me. But I was stuck doing this big hotel, paradigm, tables, teaching from stage, um, vision that was everybody else's vision that does never been, it never would work for me. Therefore, I never put it out there. It just felt overwhelming and crappy. And, and I just didn't get it as much as I love going to them. I just was like, I do not want to be on the other side of that. But when I think about taking you hiking and soul searching and doing some deep work and kayaking and with flowers and wine and chocolates and, and all of this stuff, I'm just like, Yes, there is my authentic graduation, end of the year, woo woo, yes, yes, hallelujah, welcome to the coaching world, um, graduation, right? So doing it your way. And, and you might have to try out a couple different mentors ways to see what's yours and what's theirs. But the whole time that you're coming at any training and the whole time you're stepping into your purpose, my first advice to you, my first big aha, my first want and desire for you is for you to say yes to you, for you to do it your way. So that's my, like, that's the big thing. Your way, you're going to find out your way because you're going to know your physical body, mental body, emotional body, your etheric gifts and your special giftings and how to visualize, how to manifest, how to manifest is part of this coaching curriculum training is we go through how do you manifest and the different ways of manifesting. I've studied manifesting everything from magic and to, to mindset and deliberate creation, like all of it I've studied and you're going to find the one that works for you and you're going to do it your way, but knowing how you do it your way and really allowing that to happen is going to allow you to open up to have more ease in your relationships and your relationships build your business. And so stepping into your higher calling, if your higher calling is a business, then this is huge. So the next piece of this, um, that I want to talk about is was really brought to me when I stepped back this last week and I looked at my business and I was thinking about what am I supposed to talk about? And then it was brought up multiple times. Um, all of these topics were brought up multiple times, just affirming that if you're listening to this, like I was getting awarenesses that this is what you needed to know. This is going to propel you forward the fastest. This is what's going to get you to where you want to go with the most ease and effortlessness. So the next thing to really understand um, when going into the coaching business, especially, is that you are going to have a platform. Now the platform might include books. Um, it might include coaching packages. It might include you creating courses. It might include you creating a signature speech and going out there and doing your talk to the world. And that is all part of the Empire Builder. It is all part of our fourth quarter in the Holistic Coaching Certification Program. But um, 
you'll create at least one of those. If you're really ambitious, you can do them all. <laughs> um, but having this outward awareness of your mission, your niche, your goals, how you use your gifts and how you step into your heart is going to be unique to you and you're going to do it your way. But the one thing is about this business is it is a relationship business and there's no faster way to reach people in a larger way than through social media. And when I talk about social media, I'm not only talking about like Facebook and LinkedIn and Pinterest and Instagram um, and those, those ones. I'm also talking about podcasts and print and um, doing a YouTube channel, guest blogging. I'm talking about being on a guest on podcasts. I'm talking about guest on stage, anything that is social networking and network, like networking in a group and coming forward. I just became the educating director of the Palmer Chamber of Holistic Commerce. Is that how I say it? Anyway, totally blessed for that. But, um, you know, having this social platform. So getting out from behind, I'm scared to be public. I don't want to be judged. I don't want to face rejection. I, I don't know how to put myself out there is huge. It's huge. When your business front, you're not putting up a brick or mortar company, right? You're not putting a shop up. You're literally building your brand as you and coming forward, which means social media platforms are huge. And you are going to be utilizing social media and social activity in order to tell people, hey, this is what I do, and it's how I move forward, and to recognize that you are, this is your business. So people that tell me, oh, but I don't want to be on Facebook, I don't want to, I don't want to be on Instagram, I don't want to do that, and yet they want a, a following, they want clients, I'm like, well, how, how are you going to get them? How are, how are you going to meet people? How are you going to build relationship with people? How are you going to start that first conversation? How are you going to drive them to your website, right? How are you going to um, love on them and, and see if you want to work with them and they want to work with you? This is where, where it all really boils down to is getting comfortable working forward. So part of the empire builders also just how do we overcome stage fright? What do you say? How do you say it? How do you express yourself? And I have totally fallen on my face a hundred times with this. Um, oh my goodness. And I also have a background in theater and performing arts. So, so I have a different perspective on how to really coach you into feeling more comfortable on stage, working with those tendencies, putting together your signature speech and what you're going to say, your elevator speech and what you're going to say and, and explaining what you're going to do. And then getting really comfortable that your social presence is going to change all of the time as your business grows as you become more aligned and more in tune with the energy the essence of your brand of your business of your mission of your message you are going to step into more clarity and more clarity and more clarity so allowing the flow to happen and the shifts and the change and if you've been following me for the last 10 years or so you've seen a huge change even the last six months in and how I orchestrate my business and where where I've been and and how I do things, right? So having a social media platform is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Learning how to have a social media platform is a beautiful thing. It's very empowering. I've met some of my best friends that live all over the world. I've traveled all over the world and stayed with them literally um, through social media. And then we have conversations, you know, over Zoom or Skype or whatever. And and we become great friends. And so this is a beautiful platform to work from. And there's different tricks and things so it doesn't take up all of your time. So it's not becoming overwhelming. So you can do it in a way that feels really organic and natural to you. If you like video, there's video. If you like print, there's prints, right? If you like pictures, there's pictures. There's so many different options 
But being a coach really is having a mission, having a higher calling that involves teaching, that involves transforming something in the world, um, means putting yourself out there in a way. And there's no faster way to do that than social media. So my tips on that is to really look at your mindset about that and allow yourself to become okay with a lot of your information being out in the world and not having that much control. This is a faith journey. It's a journey of, okay, I'm going to put myself out there. I'm going to surrender to this calling. I'm going to step forward and, and really trust that this platform, social media is your, is your storefront. It is your storefront. And people get to walk in and talk to you just like you are here walking in with me now. So if this is something that you can relate to, let me know. Let me know. All right. The last thing that came up multiple times for me to teach on and really talk about is, is this desire, a soul calling, a higher calling, the impact. It's not really about like, oh, I want to make a ton of money usually. It's it's not about that. It's about the service, right? When we're coming from our heart, it's about serving in in a in a way that feels really beautiful. It's about leaving a legacy. It's about um, going big or going home. And so a lot of people that want to coach, that want to teach, have this secret desire for global impact. Um, I hear over and over and over again, I can definitely relate myself as I have, um, I want to be on stage in front of a huge stadium, right? I just, I see myself speaking on stage in front of a huge stadium. I can't tell you how many of my coaching friends and me and my, my previous students are like, that was their, that was their dream. Right? And so we're like, yeah, I get it. I totally, totally get it. Um, so there's this desire for for fame, but unless you just jump right into fame and it's like handed to you on some like random thing, going out and seeking it is really, it gets a bad rap. So there's a lot of story, a lot of shame and a lot of guilt that, that goes along with this. And then, then being on social media and people that don't understand it, they're like, why are you on social media all the time? Oh, you just want attention. Da, 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 da. Like there's all this story, right? And we're not coming from that place at all. And that's why community is so important when you are building that platform for yourself, when you are waiting for that break, for people to listen, for people to hear your calling, for people to stand up and say, yes, I need what you have. When you're out there and you are creating your message, when you're inspiring, when you're being of service, like I'm being here right now with you, when you're just, I'm just giving, right? I'm just giving, 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 giving. It's all of service. There's nothing I want more in life. Um, what actually took me down in this, in this power zone is um, just feeling like I didn't have an impact. Feeling like I couldn't reach people no matter how much I gave, no matter how much I did, no matter how many books I wrote, no matter how many programs I developed, no matter how much collateral or cloud I got, I couldn't reach people enough for me to know that my service, my love, my sacrifice, my self was, was received. And I, I didn't care how much money I made. I didn't care how many awards I have on the wall. They're like literally all around me right now. I didn't care. Um, I didn't care about all of that. I still don't really like all I care about is knowing that I have touched somebody's heart, that I've touched somebody's life, that, that I have given somebody the tools in order to go and transform somebody else's life that I've given somebody the tools that they needed in order to go and live their dreams, to step into their, their highest calling, to believe in themselves enough to go out and, and make it happen, to hustle, to work for it, to, to commit to their dreams, to pass that resistance and to pass that phase of doing what everybody else said to do and find their path, just like they have their thumbprint, just like you have your eyes, you know, they're unique to you to find your path and do it your way and figure out that to figure out that way of being right 
So this is, this is huge. This is huge. Um, and I have to wrap up now because I just remembered that I have our Manifesting Monday's Mastermind right now. And we're going to have people popping on to our Zoom. So members, if you're here, <laughs> jump on and let's do our Manifesting Mondays. Um, but the thing is about, about wanting to have this global impact is it's going to push you. And I want to encourage you to release any shame, release any guilt, release any, I don't deserve it. Who am I to think this way? Who am I to create this program? Who am I to lead this group? Who am I mentality and really center and come into the place of awareness and understanding and love that you are um, here to do something big. And if you didn't have that driving force in your heart, if you didn't have that higher calling, that yearning inside of you, that is like insatiable to do whatever you do and to have this impact, whether it's in your community and your family, in the world at large, um, then, then you wouldn't be you wouldn't, you wouldn't have it. Right. So trust the fact that you have it. Trust the fact that you're filled up on it. Trust the fact that, that you have this desire to have this global impact, that you have this desire to be seen and heard and serve the world in a big way and, and serve to your give, 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 serve, serve, serve. And then if this is on your heart, I encourage you to tell me that you hear me. Tell me that, that I'm, that my service is, is touching your heart. Tell me and tell anybody else in the world who has touched your life, who has loved your life, who has blessed your life, that they mean something to you, that their impact in your life has been important to you because we all want that filled up. That's what matters most to us people that are here to transform the world, that are here to be of service. So affirming and allowing ourselves to be filled up, knowing that we are of service in the world is going to keep our light shining, keep us moving forward, keep us feeling full. And that is joy. That is beauty. That is truly, truly what's going to allow you to step into that confidence and say yes to your higher calling. So what is your higher calling? That was number one, do it your way. Number two was utilize the powers of social media. And I just watched this film about how they're like taking all of our information and blah, 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 right? Let's use that power of, of influence in a positive, beautiful way, in a way that is going to lift people up, the way that's going to empower people in a way that's going to be of service. Number three, of service and be the influencer that you're here to be. And if it, you feel called to do this through holistic coaching, helping people come back home to themselves, helping people to know who they are, helping people to define that path to their purpose. And you want to do a, have a clear path to find for yourself along the way, as well as bust through barriers and limitations and learn how to use all these platforms and do all these things. Go ahead and register right now for the next step in this training and join me for this next piece. So this next piece is also free. It is going to make sure for sure, for sure, for sure that you are absolutely in line with this training because it is an investment, right? It is a year long investment in time. Um, just a couple hours a week, but a year long investment in time to build your business while you're doing it. You will be coaching in 12 weeks, but, um, you're going to be building your business over the next year and you're going to be doing some pretty incredible things with your time and stepping into that power of yourself about how to go into this to make sure that that investment, this investment that you're going to invest in yourself for this coaching curriculum, this certification program, this schooling is actually something that you're going to absolutely love and feel really great about and get the most out of and will be fulfilling and wonderful. And for me to get to know you more on a personal level. So I know that you are right for this program because we're going to be spending a lot of time together. And I love you. Thank you so much for being you. And I am jumping on right now. Everybody that is in the Your Own University membership, we are doing our Manifest Mondays. So yay, I will see you in a second. Bye.